they are, I think, going live now. Hang on a sec, everybody. Oh my God, I miss doing a live stream with you guys. Ganern. Okay, so hi, everybody. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Today's live stream is delivered to us by our dear friends from Elite Intellect, the number one source. Shut up, number one source. <laughs> Nakalimut ako, wala akong ano, wala akong spiel, tingilan. Alright, um, uh, today's lecture, yeah, today's lecture is going to be delivered to us by our ever, everlasting mother, everlasting and eternal mother, Mama D. And I think the right, I think we're doing the writing task today. So I'm not really a good host because I wasn't updated on what you're going to talk about. I just started the Zoom link. So without further ado, The floor is yours, mother. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Naloka ako dun sa everlasting mother. Nakakaloka ka. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so, hello, guys. Welcome back to our discussion for tonight. Okay, so, yeah. Hello to our nurses out there, to our um, medical technologists out there, our physical therapists out there. If it's your first time to join us in our live discussion here at IFNG, guys, know that you're welcome here on our free discussion for the IELTS examination. Okay, and tonight, we will be teaching you guys on how to tackle the most difficult type of of instruction or question on the essay of the IELTS, which is your discuss both views and give your opinion, okay? So, ready na po ba tayong pumasa sa IELTS examination? Mag-ingay nga po ang mga papasa ngayong taon! <laughs> okay, so let me just share this one, okay? <clears throat> All right, guys. So, yeah, <clears throat> there we go. Okay, So guys, yeah, as I have mentioned, thank you so much, Sir Manuel, for that um, introduction. And before we begin, let me just say hello to the admins of IFNG, Sir Jeff, who is in the U.S. right now, Mom Gladys, who is in the U.S., Mr. M, there you go, Mom Mitch, uh, Mom Ethel, and of course, Sir Manuel. There we go. So welcome, guys, to our discussion here at IELTS Filipino Nurses Group, okay? Alrighty! Ayan, o, din, na lahat. Okay, so let's start with your discussion <clears throat> for tonight, okay? For those of you guys on Facebook, please, by the way, please do tag your friends, okay, with our live discussion for tonight, okay, because there will be a lot of learnings, okay, that you will acquire with our um, presentation for tonight, okay? Especially for those of you guys who find it quite difficult to formulate on the writing examination, know that this is where I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to make it easy, okay? Guys, believe me, the IELTS writing task too is one of the most difficult tasks of the IELTS. That's technically true, okay? It's written in stone. Isa yan sa mga pinakamahirap. However, guys, one thing that you would need to remember is it's completely doable, okay? When we say it's doable, <clears throat> Bakit ba parang semi-Karen Dabila yata yung boses ko ngayon? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I've been talking non-stop, okay, for the past few days. Okay, so when we say it's doable, guys, it means that you can actually surpass your writing in an easy way. And Mama is going to be teaching you guys today. Alrighty. Ayan, ang ingay. Yes. So galingan natin, guys, ha? Kaya natin to. Huwag kayong ano dyan. All right, so I am jubilant to meet you. My name is Clint Joseph Tyler, the founder and master lecturer of Elite Intellect IELTS OET and Clicks and NMC CBT Specialist PH. I am an IELTS expert for the past 12 years, also known as your Mama Dragon, Mother Dragon, Mama D, Mama D, Mother D, Mommy D, lahat ng unang D, half Filipino, half aswang. <laughs> and of course, don't forget our official hashtag for tonight, For those of you guys who are watching on Facebook, hashtag Mama D cares. Alagang ina, kwentong ina, turong ina, matuto ka, ina ka. <laughs> Ayan na. <laughs> Ay, naku. Hello, Fatima, my love. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> okay, guys. So please do type made by vacation. <laughs> Okay, guys, so please do tag your friends right there. Okay, so hello, Fatima at Zoom. And of course, hello, Bell Ibanez on Facebook. All right, guys, so please do tag your friends right there on Facebook, okay, for them to find our uh, discussion for tonight, okay? So before we even begin our discussion, of course, you know me, I love lifting you up by using our faith. Hello, Mama Di, Papa Sako, in Jesus' name, anak, okay? So 
Be patient, okay? May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's per perseverance, okay? That is from 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 5, okay? Guys, <clears throat> look at this one. When you are directed by God's love, okay, uh, you are also directed in Christ's perseverance, okay? Perseverance meaning you are actually, you have that sagacity towards something, okay? You would need to persevere. Mga anak, tandaan nyo, ang IELTS, hindi yan makukuha ng nakahiga ka lang, nakatitig ka lang, hinihintay mong malaglag yung gagamba sa bibig mo, yung mga ganyan, no? It's not that way, okay? You have to have Christ's perseverance, okay? So yes, that is our inspirational message for today, okay? So update guys, we have 97 viewers on Facebook. And of course, we also have 43 viewers at Zoom. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> let's begin, okay? So we are going to be doing our Elite Notes for tonight. Let's make writing effortless for you. This is the IELTS Writing, Discuss Both Views and Arrangement of Details, okay? Guys, would you believe me if I tell you that it is actually doable for you guys to get a 9.0 in writing? Again, would you believe me if I tell you that it is, okay? It is doable for you to get a 9.0 in writing. Okay, doable ba? Okay, wash out po. Hello, Doddy Marley. Oi, there you go. Hello, JC Maristella, my love. Hello, Rain, uh, Rain Decilio. Okay, again, mga anak, doable ba na maka-9 ang estudyante sa IELTS writing? Oh, yes, that's true, guys. It is completely doable, no? Okay, however, what do you think is the main culprit on why the students are not getting a 9.0 when it comes to their writing or kahit 7.5? Bakit nahihirapan ang mga estudyante na makakuha ng 7.5 when it comes to writing? Okay, let me show you, okay? Number one, okay, culprits. Okay, let's talk about the culprits first, okay? On as to why... <clears throat> students are not getting a 7.0 and above on the writing examination, okay? Ano ba ang mga culprits na ito, okay? Before we go to arrangement of details, guys, okay? Believe me, stick to the end of the program today. You will learn a lot, okay? After the discussion na to, pag nahihirapan ka pa sa writing, ay nako, anak, sinasabi ko sa'yo, lahat ng itutulong ko sa'yo yung technique ngayon is to make your writing easier. Okay, <clears throat> so, number one culprit, okay? Number one culprit, guys, kung bakit hindi nakaka-seven ang estudyante when it comes to the writing task too, is that they are unfamiliar, okay? You are unfamiliar unfamiliar with the format, okay? Basically, hindi mo alam ang pinagkaiba ng do you agree or disagree at ng to what extent do you agree or disagree. Unfortunately, mga anak, magkaiba po yun. There is a colossal disparity between do you agree or disagree and of course, to what extent do you agree or disagree. Same goes with your advantage outweigh or do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages as well as of course your your um to what extent do you agree or disagree magkakaiba po yan okay if you're unfamiliar with the format of the writing guys then of course that's the number one culprit number two is that you have slow writing pace okay basically when you're writing or when you're generating ideas, it is actually quite slow, no? Medyo mabagal mag-generate ng idea ang mga estudyante. That is why they find it difficult to expand their ideas on the test. Another one, guys, or another culprit is that there is no proper paragraphing. Okay. Mga anak, I have a question, okay? I want you to answer my question. How many body paragraphs are you expected to write, okay, on the exam? Letter A, two body paragraphs. Letter B, three body paragraphs. Okay, come on. Sagot, mga anak. Letter A, two body paragraphs. Letter B, three body paragraphs. <clears throat> three body paragraphs is expected for you to get a 7.0 and above. Sir? What if 
two body paragraphs lang kaya kong isulat. The unfortunate thing about this one, anak, is that if you're aiming for a 6.0 or a 6.5, two body paragraphs would be enough. No, But if you're aiming for a 7.0 and above, then you would need to give them three body paragraphs on the formats that would be expected of you. Okay? So yeah, <clears throat> you have to have proper paragraphing on the examination. Okay? What else? Another thing or another culprit on as to why okay, the students are not getting um, their target scores is that sometimes they do not have a stand, okay? Did not <clears throat> state a stand when, okay, the format expects them, uh, when the format expects you to, to do so, okay? Meron mga format mga anak that you are expected to state a stand. When you say state a stand is that you would need to choose a side, okay? Pili ka ng side, okay? Halimbawa, do you agree or disagree? You would need to choose between agree or disagree. Halimbawa, um, positive or negative development. You would need to choose between positive or negative, okay? Or halimbawa, to what extent do you agree or disagree? Gano ka tindi? Gano ka sumidhi? Gano ka lala? Gano ka alibugho? Ang iyong pagsangayon at hindi pagsangayon. Aring. <laughs> Apakalalim oh, naman. <laughs> Sobrang lalim. Gano ka tindi? Gano ka sumidhi? Gano ka alibugho? Di ba? Okay. <clears throat> so yeah. Another culprit on as to why the students are not getting a 7.0 is quite simple. Okay. Ito mga anak. Ito, 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 ito. ito. Look carefully. <sighs> Missing or unfinished Paragraphs. Okay. All right. All right. So, tignan maigi mga anak. Okay, sir. Kapag ka po ba sa exam, importante po ba na may conclusion ako? Yes. Okay? The most important part of your writing is the conclusion because it signifies your examiners that you have finished your work. Okay? Kung ang ini-aim mo lang naman ay 6.0 or 6.5, tapos halimbawa mga anak, nagkakuputan na, wala ka nang magawa. I mean, you ran out of time on the examination and you're just on the second body paragraph. Please, do all, everything in your power to write a short conclusion to signal your examiner that you are already finished with your work. Kasi po ganito, Kapag ka wala kayong conclusion, if you did not write down a conclusion on the exam, okay, automatically your work will be considered as incomplete by your examiner. When we say incomplete, if your score ranges from a 5.0 to a 5.5 on the writing task too. Although, if imagine you have one introduction, two body paragraphs, and a short conclusion, binadaling conclusion, kahit papano, pwede pang grade dan yan ng examiner mo. And there is a tendency for you to get a 6.5, okay, with your work, just as long as it has a conclusion. I'm not saying for you to do this always and I'm not saying for you to do this on your exam. What I'm saying, mga anak, is that kapag ka on emergency situations only, your flotation devices could be seen under your seat. Diba? On emergency situations on your exam po, kapag ka halimbawa hindi mo natapos, okay? Let's say, Sir, meron na lang ako five minutes left and I'm just on the second body paragraph, then just quickly write the conclusion, okay? And then finish it. That's it, okay? At least degrade pa yun ng examiner mo instead of marking it as incomplete, okay? That's a trick, okay? Oh, so sir, pag ano lang yun, emergency lang, yep. Okay, because if you're doing that, it's quite difficult for you to get a 7.0 and above when it comes to your writing, okay? If you're doing that, all right? Next one, guys, <clears throat> okay? Another culprit, okay? On as to why the students are getting, not getting a 7.0 on the examination is this one, Okay? Um, what do you call this? Giving more than one argument. Okay? When we say giving more than one argument, iisa lang yung tanong. Halimbawa, what is the cause of? No? What is the cause? Isang cause lang anak ang hinihingi, ang binibigay mo, tatlong cause para lang mapahaba ang work mo, then you're not going to be getting a 7.0. Okay? So these are the culprits. Now, let's learn on how to arrange details, okay, with your essays. Okay? Last week, I taught you the base formula, right? Your direct answer, your explanation, your example, and then your result. Now, for discuss both views and give your opinion, this is how you should arrange your answers, okay? All right, so how to arrange your answers 
four, discuss both views and give your opinion. Okay. So mga anak, stick to the end of the program kasi mamaya, I will be writing an actual essay. Okay? I will be writing an actual essay along with the with the participants today. Okay? And you will be seeing how we formulate a topic around the question itself. Okay? All right. So how do we arrange our answers for discuss both views and give your opinion? Okay? So first things first, my children, is you're going to be stating, okay, your topic sentence. Okay, or in other words, you're going to be stating your argument. For, okay, argument for the view. Okay, after your argument for the view, your explanation. After your explanation, you're going to be giving them your alternative. Okay, mama, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano hanapin ang alternative. Okay, and of course, you're going to choose whether you're going to explain the alternative or you're going to give an example for the alternative, okay? Huwag munang ma-stress, tandaan muna to mga anak, okay? Argument for the view, your explanation, your alternative, and then you're going to explain and you're going to give or you're going to give an example for the alternative itself. Sir, what is an alternative? What is that? Okay, I'll show you, okay? An alternative, guys, is the negative side of the opposing view. The negative side of the other view. Okay? It's the negative side of the other view. Okay? So, let's say that there are two views here. Okay? View one, halimbawa, is, um, uh, let's say, public school. Attending public schools. And then your view two is attending private schools, okay? Come on, let's get those neurons working, guys, okay? Type in your answers on your chat box if you're attending us via Zoom or if you're attending us via Facebook, type in your answers on the comment section, okay? I want you to give me an advantage for the public schools and a disadvantage for the public schools, okay? Let's say attending public schools, what's the advantage and what is the disadvantage of this one? Okay, and then I want you to give me an advantage for attending private schools and a disadvantage for attending private schools. Come on, guys, let's get those neurons working. Ano ang advantage ng pag-attend sa public school? Ano ang disadvantage ng pag-attend sa public school? Ano naman ang advantage ng pag-attend sa private school? Ano naman ang disadvantage when you are attending a private school? Okay, come on. <clears throat> Yes, okay, that is a good argument right there, okay? For public schools, guys, the advantage is there is, okay, what do you call this? Advanced educational, oh, yeah, advanced educational, oh, let's say credibility of the educators. Ang ganda niyan, okay? All right, halimbawa ito, okay? The credibility of the education educators, Okay, it's a well-known fact, guys, that for you to teach at a public institution, basing it on the Philippines, for you to even be admitted as a teacher, you need to pass, okay, the licensure examination for teachers first, okay? And then after that, there is a ranking, right? And before you are even acquired, okay, as a teacher. So, lahat ng teacher ng public schools ay licenciado, all right? Uh, so, sir, are you saying that Public, private schools, they, they, they actually hire teachers who are not licensed. I'm not saying all, but for some, okay? I'm not saying all, but for some, they actually hire teachers who are not licensed, okay? <clears throat> all right. Now, what is the disadvantage of, what is the disadvantage of, uh, what is the disadvantage of public schools, okay? Ano ang disadvantage na nakikita niyo mga anak sa attending public schools? Come on. Okay, <clears throat> what is the disadvantage of attending public schools? Yes, diba? Lack of resources like books, materials, diba? Um, audiovisual, audiovisual or learning materials. Basically, there is a lack of resources for some public schools, all right? Okay, now, what about for private schools? What is the advantage of attending private schools <clears throat> okay L um, non-air conditioned room lack of resources free or less of school fees okay quality of education okay costly okay good <clears throat> the advantage of attending 
private schools is there is a limited number of students for quality education. There you go. Limited number of students for quality education. To ensure quality education. Okay, very good. All right. Now, the disadvantage that I can see when it comes to private schools is, yeah, it is pretty much extravagant, right? Medyo mahal, okay? Medyo mahal magpa, medyo mahal magpa-aral sa private school. Di ba? Ano mga bata ngayon? Diyos ko, nakakita ko. Prep? Di ba? Yeah, the teacher-student ratio. Di ba? Nakakita ko prep. Tawag dito, 70,000 preparatory, grade 1, 80,000. <laughs> Alam ko, mahal natin ang mga kabataan. Pero grabe naman yun, 80,000 for grade 1, di ba? Okay, so look at that. These are now our arguments, okay? Kanina guys, ano yung formula natin? Argument for the view, explanation, alternative, and then we're going to explain or give an example, okay? Let's say we are currently discussing Um, public schools, okay? Halimbawa, we are discussing public schools, okay? We are currently discussing public schools, okay? The advantage of, of public schools is that, number one, uh, the credibility of educators. Okay, now, where do you think is the alternative here, okay? Asan po ang alternative, mga anak, Okay. Where's the alternative? Okay, as I mentioned earlier, by definition, the alternative is the negative side of the other view. Okay, so since I am discussing public schools right now, ano ang negative side ng other view? Extravagant. Very good. Aiden Lee, Denden. There you go. So private schools are extravagant. Okay, so look at that. This is how I'm going to be writing down my arguments later on for the body of my work, okay? For public schools, I'm going to be stating the advantage of public schools and then the alternative is the disadvantage of the private schools. Oh, magkaganon sila, Sir Joseph. Yup! Kapag ka discuss ko na po ang advantage ng private schools, ang magiging disadva ang magiging alternative na natin ay sa public school po, merong lack of resources, no? The advantage of private schools is there's limited number of students to ensure quality education and the alternative would be in public schools there would be lack of resources, okay? So sir, what's the main purpose of the alternative? The purpose of the alternative guys is to weaken the other side while you're currently discussing the view, okay? Halimbawa, public schools ang discuss mo, ang gamit ng alternative para pahinain po yung private schools, di ba? Tapos kapag ka public, private schools naman na ang discuss mo, ang purpose naman ng alternative doon ay para pahinain yung public schools. That's the purpose of the alternative. Oh, MJ! Sir Joseph! Ganun lang pala ang discuss both views. Yep. As I told you, mamaya magsusulat tayo ng actual essay. From the introduction hanggang sa conclusion, I will show you on how to write a discuss both views essay. After this discussion, pag naging problema mo pa yung discuss both views na yan, ewan ko na lang. Okay? First time attendee sent me a message. You sound like a native speaker daw po. Effortless ang diction. Oh, thank you so much. Salamat po. Charing. <laughs> Okay, guys. So yeah, look at this one, all right? The advantage would be the credibility of the educators and the alternative would be the private schools are extravagant, okay? So let's try to write a sample a body paragraph here, okay?
Okay, mamaya i-itemize ka pa. Pakita ko sa inyo mga anak, ha? Contrary-wise... Okay, so let me itemize, guys, okay? First things first, okay? This one right here is, okay, the argument for the view. There you go. So this is the argument for the view, okay? And then this one is the explanation for the argument. All right. Okay, and then this one right here, guys, is the um, alternative right here. Okay, and lastly, guys, I have chosen to explain the alternative. Okay, this is my explanation for the alternative. Okay, so look at that. This is a body paragraph, guys. Okay, look at this one. Looking at the public schools, a meritorious aspect of this is the credibility of the educators. Inasmuch as all teachers would need to pass examinations for them to be admitted. Contrary-wise, private schools are known to be extravagant. In a sense, oops. Okay, I'm so sorry. I think um my... Okay, there you go. In a sense, it could be a financial burden for the parents of the learners. Okay, so look at that. I was able to write down the advantage of attending a, a, a public school, and then I have written down the disadvantage of the private schools. Ganyan lang magsulat ng tuwat ng discuss both use essays, mga anak, no? This is one thing, one thing, I guarantee you, that marks the success of the students if, this, if, that, if you know how to arrange your arguments like this, okay? If you know how to arrange your arguments like this, believe me, your discuss both use will be so easy, girl. So easy! Arat! Okay? Oh, by the way, guys, okay? Before I, before I forget, okay? I will be sending the admins of IFNG a copy of the handout tonight, okay? This one right here, okay? I'll be sending the admins of IFNG a copy of our handout tonight. If it's your first time to watch our live for you to get a copy, okay? The only thing that you have to do is for you to like the, the Facebook page of IFNG, okay? And then message the admins for them to add you on, your, on their group chats, okay? So that you will also get a copy of our handout for tonight. But if you're an elite intellect student, don't worry. Automatically, I send this to your group chats, okay? For those of you who are first timers, okay? Please mess message the admins of IFNG later after our discussion and then tell the admins to add you on their group chat. Thank you so much. Okay, you make it look so easy, sir. Ano yan, anak? Sapi ang tawag dyan. Okay, mga anak sa gabing ito, ha? Kung medyo tatahimik ako, um, intindihin nyo, ang tawag doon, sapi. Okay, sinasapian ang ina nyo. <laughs> okay, so... All right, let's um let's take a look at an actual discuss both views question on the exam, okay? Tingnan natin mabuti ito, okay? I will also teach you on how to outline, okay? All right, now it's time for us to write an actual essay, okay? All right, so let's go. <clears throat> look at this question right here. Okay, my children, let's take a look at this one, okay? In many parts all over the world, saving money is an important act. Some say that people should start saving early, while others believe that it should be later on in life. Discuss both views and give your opinion, okay? So this one is actually quite interesting, yeah? It's talking about financial savings, okay? So 
before we even write, mga anak, no, actually, this is the way that I discuss with my students at Elite, no? Ako, what I do is, I write an actual essay. Kasi kung babasahin ko lang yung mga power PowerPoint na ganyan, parang niloloko ko lang kayo, okay? All right, so, before we even write, okay, the essay, the most important thing that you should do when you are about to write the essay is to outline quickly, okay? So, let's outline. I want you to look for the general topic of this question, okay? The subtopic. Okay, the instruction of the question. Okay, and of course, your opinion. All righty, there we go. Okay, the general topic, the subtopic, the instruction, and your opinion. Okay, so let me show you where the general topic is. Okay, the general topic is, okay, building, okay, or saving financial uh, saving fi uh, financial savings okay there you go the general topic of this one is financial savings okay there we go the subtopic mga anak here okay ang palatandaan sa subtopic po this is on the view of others okay some people think others believe some say that okay so those are the subtopics pag meron na kayong nakita ganun some people think others believe some say that if you see something like that that is automatically the subtopic so here the two contrasting ideas would be saving money early versus later in life okay there we go saving money early versus later in life all right what's the instruction the instruction guys here is discuss both views and give your opinion so just type just write bbvgo okay sir pag nag outline po ba sa exam saan ko ilalagay okay if you're going to be taking the paper based test there will be a question paper you may write it on your question paper okay but if you're going to be taking the computer delivered test guys you may write it on the sheet of paper that would be provided to you on the exam usually the sheet of paper would be your student information sheet okay meron dong blank space dun kayo pwedeng mag outline okay Sir, what's the importance of outlining? This is saving yourself some time, anak, okay? Believe me, if you have outlined, it's, it's possible for you to finish your essay within 20 minutes, okay? Believe me. The worst thing that people do is that sometimes they're just going to be writing immediately without outlining. So, anong yayari? Umuulit-ulit sila lang sinasabi, okay? All right. So, guys, what's your opinion here, okay? What's your opinion here? Should people save early? Or should people save later in life? Come on, I want you to type your answers there. Should people save early or should people save later in life? Come on, type in your answers right there. Let's see what's your opinion, okay? Early or later in life, okay? Give me a minute. Let me just get my water real quick. One minute. Okay, should people save early or should people save later in life? Okay, early, of course, right? So that will be our opinion, okay? Saving early would be our, this would be our opinion, okay? All righty, so let's take a look at the two views, okay? View one, guys, is saving early, okay? What is the advantage of this one and what is the disadvantage of saving early? Okay, and then view two is saving later in life. Okay, what is the advantage of this one and what is the disadvantage of this one? Okay, mga anak. Ah, okay. For Dodi, DBVGO is discuss both views and give your opinion. Okay? DBVGO is discuss both views and give your opinion. <laughs> That's the shortcut for it. Okay. Mga anak, what is the advantage of saving early? Okay? Ano ang advantage ng saving early? Uh, 
Okay. Well, of course, when people save early, they would, they could also retire early, di ba? They can amass financial stability and retire early. There we go. People can amass financial stability and retire early, right? Also, they have financial freedom. All of the same things goes with that one, okay? You're welcome. You're welcome, Dodi, Marley. Okay, now, what is the disadvantage of saving early? May disadvantage to, mga anak, hindi ito puro advantage lang. What do you think is the disadvantage of saving money early? There you go. People might experience negative financial pressure. May ba? Ako alam nyo at some point, at some point meron ako mga taong kinalang ganito. They love saving early. They have millions and millions in the bank. However, they're not happy. They're not happy. They're not happy. Why? Because, because, di ba? Because of the negative financial pressure, di ba? It's just, it's just pressuring more, 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 di ba? So ang nangyayari na ay, nagkakaroon na sila ng negative pressure. Instead of a motivation, it becomes pressure, okay? All right, now, what is the advantage naman, mga anak, when people are saving earlier, uh, later in life, okay? What is the disadvantage when people are saving later in life. May uh, may advantage ba to, Sir Joseph? Yeah. There's an advantage when people save um later in life. What is it? Come on guys. Let's get those neurons working. What is the advantage when people save later in life? Okay, they enjoy life more. There you go. Yeah, okay, that's good. They experience living more rather than being too goal-oriented. Okay, there you go. They experience living more rather than being too goal-oriented. Diba? YOLO. Diba? You only live once. Diba? Okay, now. What is the disadvantage of saving later in life? Oh, wag niyo sabihin na no financial stability or retire later. Kasi yun na yung argument natin kanina sa saving early. What do you think is the disadvantage of this one? Yes! There you go, Jobelo Campo. Okay? Jobelo Campo, there you go. So, they might not have emergency funds, no? They might not have emergency funds. Like, let's say, a burst appendix, di ba? Nagkaroon ng burst appendix, kailangang operahan, kaya lang hindi makabili kasi nga YOLO, nagpunta sa Santorini sa Greece, di ba? So basically, they, don't, they might not have emergency funds, Okay. There we go. These are now the arguments that we're going to be using later on at the body of our work. Okay, so first things first, let's write an introduction. Okay, mga anak, paki-screenshot itong arguments natin. Okay, paki-screenshot po kasi later on pa nagsusulat tayo sa body, babalikan natin yan para hindi kayo mahilo. Okay, ready? Screenshot now. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much. <laughs> Online selling pala. Okay. Are we done taking a screenshot? SSD, SSD, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi! Kala nyo ha? Huwag yes mulin. Online seller din ako, no? Kala nyo ba? Oo. Live selling pala yung napasukan, di ba? Okay. So there you go. Done? Done? Okay. Now, let's write an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's write an introduction for this one, okay? How do we write an introduction, okay? I'll teach you guys on how to write an intro, okay? First things first, what you should do, okay? 
is all right first things first you're going to introduce the general topic first okay and then after that you're going to introduce the subtopic okay after that you're go you're not yet going to state your opinion okay mga anak tandaan on the intro paragraph no opinion yet Okay, because here on the discuss both views part, guys, believe me, the opinion should be at the third body paragraph. It's a short opinion paragraph. Kailangan dito, wala ka munang opinion, okay? No opinion yet, all right? And then, you're going to write a thesis sentence, okay? Just tell them, what are you going to be showing at the body of your work? In this case, we're going to be showing the advantage and the alternatives, tama? Tama mali. We're going to be showing the advantages and the alternatives. Wait, is my voice too loud? Hold on. Okay, yeah. We're going to be showing the advantages and the alternatives later on for the body of our work. So that's what we're going to be writing down here on our thesis sentence. Okay, let's write. I'm so excited to write. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look. Financial stability by saving finances. Oh, financial stability by saving. Okay? Financial stability by saving is a goal most people have sagacity upon. Some people prefer to save money earlier in life, while others would do it later on. This essay will focus a spotlight on the meritorious aspects and alternatives of both given views, of both given views on the ensuing paragraphs okay look at that all right so the general topic is financial stability by saving is a goal most people have a sagacity upon some people prefer to save money earlier in life while others would do it later on this essay will focus a spotlight on the meritorious aspects and alternatives of both given views on the ensuing paragraphs diba and dami kong natutunan vocab thank you so much melody Okay, mga anak, pag may nakita kayong academic words na ginamit ko at nagustuhan nyo, write it down. Later on, after the lecture, find the meaning, okay? Alrighty, so there you go. That's the introduction. You're done, di ba? Tignan nyo kung gano'n lang kaikli yung intro, mga anak, ha? It's not beating around the bush. On the actual world, it's just three lines. Look at that. It's just a three-liner, di ba? It's a three-liner. Some people kasi, they think that the introduction should be that long, no? I love long things. Really, I am a type of person who loves long things. Pwera lang sa intro at saka sa body paragraphs, no? I don't like long body paragraphs. I don't like long intros kasi when you're doing that, there's a high tendency that you are beating around the bush, okay? Okay lang po, masaya po ang long things kahit anong bagay, basta long, masaya yan. Pwera lang sa essay sa IELTS, okay? Alrighty, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> next one. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at body one. Okay, body one would be for view one, which is saving early. <laughs> okay, <laughs> same here, mama. Odi <laughs> Okay, 
So body one would be saving early, okay? Let's go back to our arguments earlier. What is the advantage of saving early, okay? The advantage of saving early is that they will amass financial stability, okay? Hence, they can retire early, okay? The advantage is... The advantage is um <laughs> the advantage is <laughs> okay um they will amass financial stability and they may retire early okay now what's the alternative okay what's the alternative asa ng negative side ng opposing view okay What's the negative side of the opposing view? Here you go. They might not have emergency funds if they save later on in life. Again, the disadvantage is they might not have emergency funds if they save later on in life. Okay? There you go. They might not have emergency funds Okay, if they save later on in life life there you go all right so let's write okay Okay, so let's take a look at this one, guys. Okay, this is a body, okay? Looking at the aspect of saving money earlier, an expedient, uh, <laughs> looking at the aspect of saving money earlier, an expedient side of this one is people may amass financial stability. Okay, financial stability. Okay, in, in many ways, this could help them to retire early as well. Alternatively, if people save later in life, they might not have emergency funds. In other words, when there are, when there are direct and, immediate, and immediate, immediate needs, people might not have the money to support it otherwise. Okay, so let me itemize this one. Okay, this is my argument. Okay, for the view. And then this one right here is my explanation for the argument. Okay. And then this one right here is my alternative. All righty. And then this one right here. Okay. This one right here is my explanation for the alternative. Okay. Look at that, right? Discussable views is not a complicated essay format, guys. Okay, believe me, it's an easy, it's an easy one. Only if you know how to, I would call this arrange it this way. Your argument, explanation, alternative, and your explanation for the alternative. Okay, let's read it again. Looking at the aspect of saving money earlier, an expedient side of this one is people may amass financial stability. 
In many ways, this could help them to retire early as well. Alternatively, if people save later in life, they might not have emergency funds. In other words, when there are direct and immediate needs, people might not have the money to support it otherwise. Okay. So that is saving early. Diba? That is saving early. So pinahina natin yung other side. Okay. Nga nga, sabi ni <laughs> Sister Dragon. Okay. Next one, guys, is body two. Body two, guys, this is our saving later in life. Okay. So, what is our advantage when people save later in life? The advantage is... They experience living more rather than being too goal-oriented. Okay? The advantage again is... Okay, and then what's the alternative, okay? What is the alternative, what is the negative side when people save too early, okay? Ano ang negative side pag nagsisave ang mga tao early? People might experience negative financial pressure, okay? That's our alternative right there. All right, so let's write a body paragraph for this one, Okay. The advantage is when people save later in life, they experience living more rather than being too goal-oriented. The alternative is when people save early, they might experience negative financial pressure, like a pressure cooker. Okay? So, let's write. Sorry for the rain in the background, guys. Have I used alternatively? Okay. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> ano to? Learned antipodal. On the antipodal view sa kabilang banda, di ba? Ina-antipodal tayo ni mama mga besh. <laughs> On the antipodal view sa kabilang banda, mga anak, no? you can use that to on the antipodal view, okay? So let's take a look at this body paragraph, guys, okay? On the antipodal view, when people just procure their money later in life, they might experience living more rather than being too goal-oriented. To put this simply, people can enjoy the fruits of their hard works and gratify their yearnings. Contrary-wise, when people save early, they might experience negative financial pressure. Like any other type of self-inflicted ideations, it could hold them down for the longest time. Yeah. 
di ba when people uh, when, ang ibig sabihin nito kapag ka nag-save sila later in life they get to enjoy it blah 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 tapos pag nag-save sila early baka ma-pressure lang sila did you see that discuss both news guys is you are currently defending this side and you're weakening you're making the other side weak by using your alternatives di ba napakadali lang na Discuss both views and give your opinion, de ba? It's actually quite easy, guys. Believe me, okay? All right, now, what's the next one? Next one is your short opinion paragraph, which is your body three. Body three, guys, take note of this one, okay? Take note of this one. Short opinion paragraph, okay? Take note of the word short. Okay? Maikli lang po ang paragraph na ito. Hindi siya sobrang haba. Okay? When you are on the opinion paragraph, what I would want you guys to do is to just state your opinion and then explain why. Again, when you are on the opinion paragraph, the only thing that you have to do is to state your opinion and then afterwards, you need to explain why. Why are you for that side? Okay? So again, body one is for view one. Body two is for view two. And then body three, guys, this is your short opinion paragraph, okay? Let's write our opinion here, okay? Kanina po, ano ang ating opinion? We are for saving money earlier, okay? Okay, <clears throat> so look at this one. As far as I am concerned, I can see myself leaning towards saving money young for the reason that this might help me become financially capable and I will get to enjoy my money as an adult in the future. Diba? You will get to enjoy your not yet, uh, what do you call this, on the geriatric side. Diba? Hindi ka pa uugod -ugod, diba? The problem with the people nowadays is that they tend to save money until they're, they're old. Tapos kapag ka nakapag-save na sila, Oh, yes. Okay. From from Danny Nova. Good question. Okay. From Danny Nova. Hi, sir. Block paragraph po ba or need mag-indent? Okay. Dati mga anak, ginagamit yung indented format. But ako, I encourage my students to use the block format for you to give them a neater work. No? And then don't forget to leave a space after every paragraph. Okay. So look at this one. As far as I am concerned, I can see myself leaning towards saving money young for the reason that this might help me become financially capable and I will get to enjoy my money as an adult in the future. Diba? Kasi, um, for some people, they tend to save, 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 save. And then what have you? You're already 65 with arthritis or if you don't have arthritis with diabetes, you know, diabetes. Um, ano pa ba? <laughs> May mga sakit ng matatanda, diba? Um... A gout, diba? Yung mga ganyan. So you will no longer get to enjoy your money. It's like it's like you're saving, diba? It's like you're saving money for your treatment in the future, diba? It's like you're saving money for your treatment in the future, diba? Grabe naman to sa diabetes. Ang sakit, ha? Ano ko ba naman, anak? Yung sa'yo naman, sexing diabetes, diba? Diabetes. <laughs> okay. Same with computer-based po, mama. Yes, Christian anak. No, kaya lang mag-iingat ha. Kung minsan, tignan nyo kung nag-leave talaga ng space after ng paragraph. Kasi baka mamaya pag isang enter lang, nasa ilalim lang siya. So isa pa para meron siya talagang space. di ba? You're welcome, Danny Nova. All right, so look at that, guys. Okay? 
This is now your introduction, body one, body two, body three, and your opinion paragraph. Now, could somebody please tell me what's missing with my essay? May nawawala po ba sa essay ko? What is missing with my essay? Come on, guys. You're welcome, Christian Anak. What is missing with my essay? I told you it's the most important paragraph of all. The conclusion. There we go. Good job, guys. Yes. It's the conclusion. Okay? But before that, guys, okay, bago tayo po sa conclusion, wait, quickly, let me just announce this one, okay? So, guys, the award-winning program of Elite Intellect, which is Elite Focus, okay, Um, which is the program that can help you focus on your weaknesses and make them your new strengths, okay? Last week, guys, we accepted 20 students for the Elite Focus program, okay? And now, before we close our enrollment for Elite Focus, we are going to be accepting 10 students more, all right? To make the batch a total of 30 students, okay? Sir Joseph, it's my first time to see Elite Focus. What is Elite Focus, Okay. Elite Focus, guys, is a review program that will help you focus on your weaknesses, okay? So, it is an IELTS review program designed to help the students focus on their weaknesses on the examination. It is a limited review with no expiration, free materials, okay, books and writing compilation, live and recorded classes for more flexible schedules, 100 hours of one-on-one -on -one speaking and writing coaching, 20 hours of assessment with the master lecturer, that's moi, and one-on-one -on -one sessions on grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. For the elite focus po, if you are a person who find it difficult muna sa speaking, di ba? let's focus on that first. And then when you're already good with your speaking, sir, writing naman, let's focus on that next. So reading naman, let's focus on that next. That's the beauty of Elite Focus, guys. Is that kaya matagal bago ko mag-open ng Elite Focus program po, mabuan. Tatlong buwan, apat na buwan, bago namin i-open yung enrollment for Elite Focus. Kasi we make sure that the students who enroll for the Elite Focus program are polished when it comes to their IELTS preparation. Okay? And, okay, so since you're watching here, okay, 10 students lang po, not 20, okay? 10 students, since you are watching here at IFNG, we are giving away an uh, exclusive IFNG uh, discount for Elite Focus, which is 2,500 discount, okay? Pay only 4,999 instead of paying 7,500. And if you enroll as a group of three and above, okay? Pero kailangan may isang representative po na mag -e enroll sa inyo, okay? Three students and above from IFNG, you're only going to be paying 3,999 per student instead of 7,500. And limited review do po yon, you are under elite focus. Okay, so we have 10 slots open for this one. If you would want to inquire, you may check the link that we have sent right there on our chat box. Okay. Our chat box right there, okay? So, click po yung link dyan. And of course, for those of you guys on Facebook, you may click the link on the comment section. That is the Facebook page of Elite Intellect 9. Message Ma'am Tanya. I-type mo lang IFNG Focus. Alam na po ni Ma'am Tanya kung ano ang gagawin, okay? So, for the 10 students who will be completing the batch of Elite Focus, I am excited to be working with you towards your IELTS preparation under the Elite Focus program. Thank you so much. See you in class very soon, mga ka-Elite Focus. Okay, so, <clears throat> it's now time for us to write a conclusion, okay? All right, so, how do we write, Sir Asan po yung link? Link is sent here on your uh, what do you call this? Link is sent here on your um, chat box, okay, here at Zoom. Okay, and of course, on the Facebook, it's on the comment section, okay? And then po yung link natin sa comment section, Ma'am Genji and Sir Jello, sent the link of Elite Intellect, so message us there. Pakitype lang po, IFNG Focus, okay? If you want to be a part of the 10 students who will be availing the Elite Focus program from Elite Intellect, okay? Now, Sir Joseph, how do you write a conclusion, Okay. Paano ka ba gumawa ng conclusion dito, Sir Joseph? Okay, guys. Tandaan nyo, essentially, okay? Essentially, listen carefully. This is the most important thing to listen to, okay? Essentially, the conclusion, guys, should be shorter than your introduction. Sir? The conclusion should be shorter than your introduction. Hindi po po pwede na mas mahaba ang conclusion natin kaysa sa intro kasi you're just closing things up here, okay? You're closing things up here on your conclusion. So, Sir Joseph, what do you do with your conclusion? Okay, here. 
first things first, on the conclusion, guys, what I always tell my students to do is for you to, first, you're going to generalize on all your statements. Second, you're going to restate your stand. No? Restate mo yung opinion mo in this case, not stand, okay? You're going to restate your opinion. And after that, guys, if you still have time, okay, this is optional, okay? This is optional. You may actually recommend, you may predict, or you may give them a memorable line to close your uh, to close your paragraphs, okay? All right, so let me make a conclusion here. Okay, look at that. <clears throat> As an inference, this essay has presented both sides of the given discernments, along with my support on the notion of saving money younger. At the end of the day, having an account with money can mark adroitness and capacity. All right, so look at that. But before you even finish, bago ka matapos, hindi ka patapos, the last thing that you're going to do now is to read your work from the introduction towards the conclusion. Okay? Basahin nga po natin mula intro hanggang conclusion. If you're alone right now and if you would want to read with me, go. Okay? <clears throat> Financial stability by saving is a goal most people have sagacity upon. Some people prefer to save money earlier in life while others would do it later on. This essay will focus a spotlight on the meritorious aspects and alternatives of give of, of both given of the given views on the ensuing paragraphs. <clears throat> Looking at the aspect of saving money earlier, an expedient side of this one is people may amass financial stability. In many ways, this could help them to retire early as well. Alternatively, if people save later in life, they might not have emergency funds. In other words, when there are direct and immediate needs, people might not have the money to support it otherwise. Body 2. On the antipodal view, when people just procure their money later in life, they might experience living more rather than being too goal-oriented. To put this simply, people can enjoy the fruits of their hard works and gratify their yearnings. Contrary-wise, when people save early, they might experience negative financial pressure. Like any other type of self-inflicted ideations, it could hold them down for the longest time. As far as I am concerned, I can see myself leaning towards saving money young for the reason that this might help me become financially capable and I will get to enjoy my money as an adult in the future. As an inference, this essay has presented both sides of the given discernments along with my support on the notion of saving money younger. At the end of the day, having an account with money can mark adroitness and capacity. Ah. Uh, that is the end of section four. You now have half a minute to slap your seatmate. <laughs> okay, look at that, right? Discuss both views, napakadali. Di ba? Wala pang isang oras at kalahati nating discuss yung discuss both views. Di ba? Guys, discuss both views, although mara maraming tao talaga ang nalilito dito, the only thing that you would need to remember for this one is for you to present both given ideas. Okay? Along with, the, with their alternatives, there should be three body paragraphs. Body one would be for view one and its alternative. Body two would be for view two and its alternative. Body three would be for your short opinion paragraph. Okay, 
total total number of paragraphs would be five paragraphs introduction body one body two opinion paragraph and of course your conclusion and of course make sure that your conclusion is essentially shorter as compared to your introduction okay that is the end of the listening examination Charing. okay so guys before we end our class for tonight let me show you this powerful verse okay success can also be added okay but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all of these things will be given to you as well this is from the book of matthew 6 verse 33 under the new international version guys one thing that you would need to remember is that sometimes we tend to seek and ask for a lot of things diba? i want financial stability i want success but guys believe me if you seek first the kingdom of god and the lord's righteousness lahat yan idadagdag niya sa yo matik na yan sobra sobra pa okay so guys, let me just pray for you guys who has attended our lecture for tonight. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity to glorify your name, Father, by sharing your words here at IFNG. And Lord, thank you so much for another opportunity to teach the students when it comes to their IELTS preparation. My Father, thank you for the lives of the admins of IFNG, Lord God, because they are helping a lot. I thank you for Sir Jeffrey, Sir Manuel, Mom Gladys, Mr. M, and of course, um, Mom Michelle and Mom Ethel for their hard work with the students, Father. And Lord, I, I am praying for this one. This person who's listening to this one, my Lord God, listen to her, listen to him because they need this. They need their examination, Father, to glorify your name more in the future. My Father, thank you for the people who have you, whom you have led towards the path of Elite Intellect 9 tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so guys, yes, no? For those of you guys who would want to avail our promo for the uh, for the Elite Focus Program, again, 2,500 discount if you're a solo student. But if you're going to be enrolling as a group of three and above, pay only 3,999, okay? You may send a message on our Facebook page and avail one slot out of 10 open slots for our Elite Focus. You may send a message on our Facebook, okay? Um, the link is sent right there, okay, on your um, comment section and of course for those of you at zoom it's on the chat box right there okay if you would want elite intellect to help guide you on your preparation not just with the ielts but also with your faith send a message to our facebook page today okay so guys before i send this one back to our admins sir manuel okay next week i will also be teaching you about the writing format so nakakalito i would say maybe to what extent an advantage outweigh would you agree with me for next week to what extent and advantage outweigh, okay? Advantage outweigh and to what extent do you agree or disagree? Same time, same place, Friday at 9 p.m. PHT, live here at IFNG, okay? So guys, in behalf of the staff of Elite Intellect 9, thank you so much for joining us for tonight. This is your Mama Dragon sending my love to you from the Philippines. I'll see you guys next week, Friday, 9 p.m. PHD, live here at IFNG. For those of you who would want to be a part of our Elite Focus Batch, please send a message on our Facebook page right now. Sir Manuel, back to you! <laughs> Over your energy! <laughs> Maybe you did. Well, thank you so much for that wonderful lecture. I've learned so much. And I'll send you a picture of my mom. She's listening to your lectures earlier. I, thank you. Yeah. She said you had a you have a wonderful voice. Girl. Oh, girl. Thank you, Tita. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tita. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. And have a nice day. See you next have week, nice guys. Day. See you next Bye. week, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.